it's that time of year again. The temperature is plummeting. Winter is coming. Today I want to show you a pair of reproduction World War II German winter boots made by Sergei Justus. First, let's take a look at some history about the German Filzstiefel. The German felt line winter boots were introduced after the first devastating winter in Russia in 1941 to prevent the many frostbite casualties, as the standard leather marching boots did not provide the warmth required in the extreme cold. A first pattern Filzstiefel or felt boot was quickly developed and was based on the famous Russian felt boots, Valensky, also known as Blanks. A second more improved pattern was developed shortly after. The felt boots were designed to replace the leather marching boots during the winter season, from the 15th of September to the 15th of April. They were distributed to enlisted men and NCOs along with other winter garments. Originally, Officers and senior NCOs, responsible for purchasing their own uniforms and footwear, were required to purchase the felt boots, until regulations of December 1942 extended the issue of winter clothing and footwear to all ranks in the colder theaters of operation. The winter gear would be issued in September and was to be returned to the unit's clothing depot in April for storage, repair and cleaning, ready to be reissued the following September. The Germans improved upon the original Russian idea of a felt boot, constructing a more advanced version that combined both protection from the cold and endurance, by the addition of a smooth leather outer lining and strong studded soles. The first pattern felt boot was a very simplified version. The second more improved pattern replaced the first model shortly after, and there were many variations in both color, reinforcements, soles, etc. But all of them shared a common leather and felt design. The felt was made from animal hair stuffing, mixed with recycled wool, creating a grey or brownish color. Some boots even had a layer of thick dark rubber paint added to the outside of the felt for waterproofing. I have also seen examples with coarsely woven dark blue or grey wool instead of the typical felt material. A fastening strap with a rolling buckle is situated on the back for tightening the top of the boots, providing some extra insulation by retaining body heat, and also preventing snow from getting into the boots. The soles were stacked leather, both sewn and wood pegged, with leather studs for extra durability, and to make movement on snow and ice easier. It also provided better insulation from the ground as the use of metal hobnails would transfer the cold from the ground into the boots. A Norwegian veteran that served with SS Skjegabataljon Norge told me that during the first winter they actually removed the metal hobnails on their Bergschuhe, German mountain boots, because of this. Early officer or private purchase boots are often seen without the leather studs and with the addition of a rubber heel plate and or metal toe plates. But the regular standard issue boots for the army and SS normally featured the leather studs. Another style of winter footwear was also developed, the Filzschuhe or felt overboot, also known as Postenstiefel, century boot. The overboots were designed according to the same philosophy that inspired the Filzstiefel, differing from the felt boots. These boots were designed to be worn over the jack boots and were intended for use in static duties, such as by cart drivers and during guard duty, thereby the nickname sentry boots. The first pattern felt boot was a very simplified version, like this example for sale at fjm44.com. This particular pair was produced in 1941. There were a number of different manufacturers 
resulting in a variety of slightly different features, leather and felt color. They were fitted with large wooden soles, with added half soles of Buna, a type of synthetic rubber, for increased insulation and durability. It also provided a little extra grip on snow and ice. On the bottom, the number 32 is stamped. This denotes the size in centimeters. Here is another leather size tag denoted in centimeters. Sergei Justas is a highly skilled shoemaker that specializes in both Russian and German historical footwear. His craftsmanship is very impressive, and the footwear he makes is solid. I believe Sergei is only on Facebook, and to my knowledge he does not have a dedicated page or website. I will leave his Facebook link in the description. These are one version of the German second pattern Filzstiefel made by Sergei. As you can see, the craftsmanship and the material quality is excellent. This boot features high quality smooth brown leather sewn together with high quality wax linen thread. They are fully lined with felt material that seems to be of the same texture and density as the typical period felt material. The soles are stacked, sewn and fully wood pegged and of the typical felt boot design with the correct leather studs which are also pegged to the sole. What do you mean by peg? Well, this means that the soles are basically nailed to the boots using hundreds of small wooden pegs. This is the original way of making period German military footwear and is also surprisingly durable and has proven to be far superior to modern adhesives. Leather is dynamic, it swells and contracts in response to sweat and moisture. So does wooden pegs. Here is a size comparison. The leather and the wooden pegs will change in relation to each other, giving a much better structural integrity versus nails. Over time, nails can rust, loosen and fail. Here is a comparison of the felt insoles, original on the left and reproduction made by Sergei on the right. Some original insoles were made with two layers, one side with paper or cardboard and the other with felt. If you want a pair of boots from Sergei, please send him a message on Facebook and give him my regards. Keep in mind that his boots are made to order and there will most likely be some waiting time. If you would like to see more German World War II reenacting related videos, such as gear reviews, reenactment footage, etc., please check out some of my fellow YouTubers. Panzer Soldat 1, World War II Viking, review history and reenacting. World War Guy, World War II Freak, BR Man 102, and many more listed in the video description. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I really appreciate all the support, comments, and likes from all of you. Until next time, 